Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to show you how quick and easy it is to draw a table in Word, especially if it seems like a complicated table. So let's say you're creating a, uh, a sales flyer that seems to have a complicated layout. And yeah, this one looks pretty tricky. However, the draw table feature in Word can actually be a really easy way to go. Now, I've already got a blank Word document open. Before I get started, I'm going to head over to Layout, Margins, and I'm going to do Narrow Margins. And I'm going to zoom out so that you kind of get a better feel for this document, even though you won't be able to see the details as much. Now, under Insert, under Table, there is the Draw Table option, and that's what I want to use. Now, the first time you draw a table, you get this little pencil icon. I'm going to click and drag a box, which is going to represent the outer boundaries of my table. And these could be adjusted later, but that gives me the start. In fact, I kind of spilled over into another page. Not too worried about that, though. Now, I still have the draw table feature selected, and I still have my little pencil icon. But now I can do some pretty interesting things. I can take this line and drag it all the way down. And once you see that line snap, you can let go of your mouse button. And now I've got a, a border for my table right there. And then I could do some other things, like I could drag something across, all the way across. You notice I can do partial, or I can go all the way across. That line snaps in. And I can do a line down here that's partial, and I'll do a vertical line down there. Now maybe I get a little bit carried away, and I draw some extra lines where I don't want to. I'll do another one over there, and another one down there. Well, in addition to the draw table feature, there's also the eraser feature. So I can click on that eraser feature and I get a, uh, an old school eraser icon. Now, the way the eraser icon works is I can draw a line with it or I can draw a box with it. And any table border that's part of that box that I draw, when I let go of my mouse, is going to get deleted. So I don't want to delete there. That's a little bit too much. But I could, I could come down here and I could delete these borders. All right, actually, I'll go a little further. I'll delete these, uh, what is that, one, two, three borders there. Okay, those are gone. And then I'll delete these two down here, and those are gone. And of course, you can Control Z to undo if you want to get those back. Or they're so easy to redraw. I just head back to my draw table mode, and I can put in more lines where I need to. By adding those border lines and then getting rid of them, you can create some pretty unusual table layouts. And then once we feel like we're done with that, we just turn off our draw table feature, just click the draw table button again. Now we're deselected, and now we're in the mode of a normal table. And if I don't want that extra page over there, I just need to resize my table here a little bit. There we go, so it doesn't spill over. And uh, yeah, and there we go. So now you can put in your content, you can change background colors and things like that. Well, what if you don't want those borders visible? You just select the entire table by using the selection handle in the top left corner. And then you can head over to your layout ribbon and you can do some controls over here under table design. They've got some options here, including borders. And I can head over to my borders drop down, and I can say I want no borders. The table is still there, by the way, even though you can't see it. So what I like to do while I'm working is I might head over to borders and shading and I'll change it out to that thin dotted border and I can see my thumbnail. That's what I'm going to get. I'll click OK. And so those borders are still visible. I can still see what the boundaries of those cells are, but they're not going to be uh, overwhelming and distracting. After I put in my background colors and my images and my text content and things like that, well, then I can make all of those borders disappear and it will look like a regular flyer. Now, I might also want to extend this out to the very edges of my page, depending on how I'm printing it or sending it to a printer. But we can take care of all of that once we're done with our flyer. Thanks for hanging out with me. 